A routine evening takes a dark turn in this Ohio neighborhood as a couple's argument escalates into a full-blown domestic incident. What begins as a dispute over a phone quickly spirals out of control, leading to an arrest and multiple charges. The presence of alcohol, heightened emotions, and a moment of aggression combine to create a tense and chaotic situation. Is that her car? That one? Yeah. Okay. What's going on? We were just having normal conversations, and then I guess she just freaked out. She went and tried to like, grab my phone in my pocket. I went to grab it back, ended up biting the f out of my thumb. I mean, I'm fine. That's, I ain't doing anything. I just like her and all of her stuff out, because that's possible. What is going on tonight? He was my boyfriend, and then he wasn't, but he was like practically playing me the entire time, and it okay. just turned into a whole mess that was really unnecessary. Okay. So, and then we have both been drinking tonight. Okay, so do you live here with him? Yeah, him and I had a mutual agreement that I give up my lease on my apartment that I had and stuff like that. Okay, does she live here with you? Yes and no. Like, she does live here, like her stuff is here, but I'm the only one on the lease. Okay, how long has she been staying there? I guess since I moved in. Which is when? About three weeks ago. Okay. Uh, can you show me your thumb real quick? Yeah, I mean, I'm fine. I mean, it's just a bite mark here, but I mean. Have you, how long have you been living here then? It was really fast. <laughs> I've probably been here like a month, a month and a week or something like that. Okay, do you have another place to go for the night so that we don't, we're not coming out here and arresting probably everybody? Probably not, but you won't have to arrest anybody because I'm just going to pack my things and then go to bed. You won't have anything. Okay, can you take a step back from me, please? Yeah, I'm Thanks. sorry. It's just her apparently tired of me when I was trying to talk to someone else. Because she's my ex, and me talking to someone else, she flipped out. When would you want to live together with somebody you have been dating for a week? I don't know. I guess it's kind of my own problem. I don't like being alone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my own issues, I guess. Okay. How long have you been here all day, and we just started fighting? Like, what's... He just likes to talk to other females behind my back and stuff like that, and... I probably just overreacted. He was on the phone with some coworker that he lied to me about whenever we were broken up. And then like, I was, it's just a huge mess because he just likes to talk to females behind my back and stuff like that. And I take that stuff to heart. Sure, like I, I, I don't want to like my boyfriend do it. <laughs> he wasn't my boyfriend at the time. Okay, I guess you're here. Okay. Think alcohol is probably an issue too tonight? <laughs> no, I can handle my alcohol. Okay, but we wouldn't be having this issue if we wouldn't be having alcohol tonight? No, there would still potentially be an issue with everything if okay. I hadn't had been drinking. Okay, so what exactly happened? Like, why are we out here? Why did he call us? Probably because I got upset with him and stuff. Okay, you take the phone from him, the yeah. phone on the ground, okay. Kind of, he put it in his pocket for a minute, and I just kind of grabbed it and pushed the in call button. Okay, where's the phone at now? I don't know. Okay, you give it back to Probably him? Probably with him. As the officers delve deeper, they uncover the real reason for their presence, a bite mark on the boyfriend's hand. Marissa's attempt to grab his phone leads to an act of aggression, transforming this argument into a case of domestic violence. With the evidence clear, the officers move to arrest Marissa, but what happens next only complicates the situation further. In a desperate bid to avoid custody, she tries to flee, setting off a physical struggle that adds more charges to her name. Okay, Marissa, right now you're under arrest, but she's going to... No, 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 no. You're not going to run for me. No, 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 you don't understand. There's no way you will get me out. No, you don't, no, 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 please just let me stay. Let You're making this worse than it has to be. Please let me take my brother. Please let me take my brother. Dead Michael. Right. No! Stop. Stop. Don't scratch me. Relax. <laughs> I'm not scratching you. My hand. Dead Michael, please. My brother, please. I got her. I got her. <laughs> You bit him. What? You bit him. I didn't bite him. There's a bite mark on his hand. There's a bite mark on my arm. You're also under arrest for resist because you took off from me. I don't try to take off from you. I was just trying. Yeah, you ran away from me. Let's go. Jack, please. Jack, my brother, please call my brother. Five, six, eight, three. You can well, walk you or we can carry you. carry you. I don't know his number. Will you please just call my brother? Will you please grab my phone and call my brother? Come on. Please. please. Walk. Do not! Please. Now you're under arrest for battery. You're not gonna- No, I'm not trying to battle you! 
I just, just saw you kick her. You just made this a whole lot worse for I yourself. wasn't trying to. I well, just you did. You my kicked brother. her. You resisted. I wasn't trying to. I just need to call my brother, please. <laughs> You ready to sit up so we can sit you in a car? Or you want to sit, sit out here in the concrete where everybody can see you? Like, please. You're not getting out please, of this. Please, can I talk to no. him at least? Please, please. I have a right. I know I have a right. He's clearly a victim of domestic violence. He's no, not a victim of domestic violence. You do not have a right to talk to him. He is because you bit him. I didn't bite him. He has a bite mark on his thumb. Can you just bring him over here? No. I mean, I'm cuffed. I can't do anything. I'm no. sitting here. You We're can. No, we're not going to. As the reality of the situation sinks in, Marissa's emotions overflow. She pleads with the officers, desperate to speak to her boyfriend, convinced that she can change the outcome if only she could talk to him. But the law has taken over, and her pleas fall on deaf ears. So are you going to get in my car? No. Why not? Because I need my phone. I need to call my brother first. You don't need anything. I do. I'm not getting in okay. your car. All right. Well, then, either that or we can put you in a van and a wrap where you yeah. really can't move. I just want to talk to him. No, you're not talking to him. We're past Chad, that. will you please come over here? Stay over there. Don't come over here. I will be gone in the morning. I beg of you, please do not do this to me. He's not doing anything. We are. He's doing everything. He has no say in it. Yeah. He does. He has no say no, in it. Does yes, not. he does. No, I know he does, he does. Okay. You obviously don't know the law. I do know the law. Okay. So what are you going to do? Are you going to get in my car? Or are you going to go into the wrap in the back of a van? I didn't do anything. I didn't fight him. Well, you'll have your day in court to argue that. Where's his mark? I want to see it's his on mark. His thumb. You'll see it in court. It's not on his thumb because I didn't fight him. Okay. I didn't fight you. 25, can you start a rap? Chad! I didn't fight him, though. That's the thing. I really didn't. Do you guys take me back where I need to be? You're going to jail. I know that, but like. When you get released. I don't have my phone though. I need my phone. Can okay. you please go so, get my phone so I have my brother at least? Can please you get in the car. Least? Scoot in the car so I'm not holding you up. I get in the car, but can you please get my phone from him? I'll work so on can, getting your phone. But you at least call my phone. brother in the morning so I can get my stuff. We'll get your phone. You got to help us out too. Sorry. Be quiet. You made it exponentially worse by one, running from me when I, I told you under arrest. Your... Stop. You ran from me. End of story. It's on camera after I told you you're under arrest. Then you kicked me. All right? That's two more charges. I was just trying to go back to get my phone so I could call my brother. This all. The alcohol does not help anything because well, you're 20 years old. His fault. Nope, you're the one drinking it. He's the one who bought it. Okay, doesn't matter. People buy alcohol all the time. Doesn't mean I'm well, going to drink it. It matters because if he was caught with me while buying it, he'd get arrested for it. You're the one that's drinking it, so you're also going to get a minor in consumption charge as well. No, it's all under his name. You're the one ingesting it. Please it's put your feet apartment. in. Yes, ma'am. Please put your feet I'm in. I'm not done talking. Okay. Right now, I'm done talking to you. I'm not. I need Please my phone, knee. and then I will be done. Okay. Please put your knees back in the car. Despite her resistance, the night ends in handcuffs. Marissa faces a series of serious charges, domestic battery, assault on an officer, and resisting arrest. Her emotional outbursts and attempts to justify her actions only dig the hole deeper, leaving her to face the consequences of a night gone wrong. This video serves as a stark reminder of how quickly things can spiral out of control when emotions, alcohol, and aggression collide. What are your thoughts on how this situation played out? Share your opinions in the comments below.